Welcome back to another video guys, my name is John Dean. In today's video we're going to be looking at how to import footage into Final Cut Pro. So if you're a beginner and you're getting used to Final Cut Pro uh, and you would like a quick tip on how to do that then this video is for you. Let's roll the intro and dive in. Okay guys, so we're loading Final Cut Pro um, and typically this is the type of screen you're greeted with. Now personally what I like to do is um, name my events uh, first of all, uh, create all the events that I want. Now if you haven't seen it, I actually did a, vi a video a couple of videos ago on how to set up a Final Cut Pro library in under 10 seconds. So if you haven't watched that, um, that card will be available for you to click on and go back and watch that first of all. But Perhaps. Uh, assuming you're starting from scratch uh, and you're you haven't necessarily followed that video along then we our screen tends to look like this so I'm just gonna uh, rename my event to orgs I like to use the, the terminology of orgs uh, for you know symbolizing all my original footage basically um, and the way to import media uh, you can simply drag and drop things but there's a few variables that you need to bear in mind before you do that so so if you're just starting out i recommend clicking on the arrow button up here which is the import window or optionally you can click on command and i and that brings up the window for you um, and just to talk you around the window first of all so if you plug in one of your cameras uh, that will that should be listed up there any hard drives are listed there and obviously any sort of uh, any additional favorites like your desktop uh, is listed there for the purposes of this uh, because I'm using my camera I'm going to import from my desktop um, initially so this is the footage that I'm going to be importing so if we just click on this there's a man pulling a funny face um, uh, so what we can do here is we can scrub through and see what the footage looks like. You can preview it basically. I don't think it allows you to select uh, the footage at this stage. You have to import the whole clip. It's not like you can select a portion of it. Um, you can even view the waveform of the footage by clicking on this little button here and selecting waveform. Now in this particular clip there isn't any audio but uh, if there was audio we would be seeing it there. Um, I'm just going to turn that off though. Uh, and then this button here is basically asking you what event folder basically do you want to put it in. Uh, so I've already set up my orgs folder. But if we wanted to create a new folder we could call it orgs2 or something like that. Um, uh, and it would go into there and it's going into our demos library which is the one I'm currently in. For now I'll just uh, go back though and put it in our orgs folder because I've already created that. Um, now this this particular bit here is incredibly important. There's two ways of importing things into Final Cut Pro. You can first of all leave files in place so if you've created a folder in your finder and you've copied all your media into that folder you've got your library in that folder then you might want to leave files in place but if you go back and watch the last video I did on um, comparing Final Cut Pro with chewing gum then you will see that will give you a good rundown as to the dangers of doing that now a lot of people do prefer to do that which is all well and good but when you come to copy your whole folder uh, off uh, onto another hard drive then you run the risk of missing media uh, forgetting some on, on one hard drive uh, and po possibly sort of losing it for good so <laughs> just bear that in mind Personally, I like to select copy to library, which I'll show you what that means in a minute. But if we click uh, leave files in place, uh, first of all, and we just select the funny face man um, and keywords. Uh, can be imported now keywords is probably a, a, you know, a video in itself I'm not going to cover that in, in great depth here but basically you can um, brand 
uh, footage with a certain keyword. So next we can balance the color. So if the white balance is slightly off, we can do that. We can even find people if we wanted to. Um, and then we've got transcode. So create optimized media. What that will do is if you're camera shoots in a funny format that isn't very compatible with Final Cut Pro. I've got an older camera actually that shoots in AVC HD, um, which um, isn't really that great for Final Cut Pro. So if I ticked optimize media, what that will do is convert that footage automatically when it's imported uh, into a much better format that's, uh, that Final Cut Pro is able to handle, which I believe is ProRes. So um, that is an option. It will uh, increase the file size of your library so bear that in mind uh, and first of all you know if you're starting out and you've got a new camera I would see if your camera's format is compatible with Final Cut Pro because it might well be so I wouldn't rush to use optimized media unless you feel the need to. Next you've got create proxy media which basically means that it will create a scaled low res version that if you're working on on, on a lower spec machine and you're working in a high res format um, it will mean that your workflow will be a lot quicker if you create a proxy media file again it's something if you if your computer's handling your footage as it is straight out of camera then i wouldn't worry about that proxy media too much um, but if your machine is struggling particularly i find my machine struggles if i'm using multi-cam uh, if i'm doing multi-camera work um, that's when I would create proxy media. So it can be very useful, but just to make you aware of what that is basically. And you can even choose the frame size and the codec and things like that. So I'm just going to hit import selected. And what that's done is it's imported it into our Final Cut Pro library. And if I hit command shift and R, um, you can see that it's still on the desktop. So if you by accident move this or completely eradicate it, Final Cut Pro will alert you that is missing the file. So what you need to be aware of is that is a risk. So make sure um, that you keep everything organized. I suggest create one file with your Final Cut Pro library and your footage in if you're gonna take that approach and make sure that that package um, goes from one hard drive to the next and you don't miss any media along the way. As I say, highly recommend going back and watching my um, chewing gum video, which I've just done last week, um, which will really explain the principles behind storing media on Final Cut Pro. So just wanted to alert you to that. Hope that has been useful. Okay, N the other way of importing footage is to copy media to library. So what I'm going to do here is um, literally just copy, import this media into there. Now we've got the tiger and what this has done is if we hit command shift R, it has um, put it in my library. So it's embedded it within the actual library itself. So um, Usually what we would typically see is just this uh, and you sort of think, where is it? But the footage is actually within there. So if I right click on that and show package contents and then go to orgs and uh, original media, we've got our footage in there. And now this was a very short clip, but um, what you might see is it takes a little while to import media when you're copying it to your library. But I much prefer that method because it keeps everything really safe. And actually, I sort of show you why um, I like that method in my previous video. So definitely check that video out um, after this one. And um, yeah and hopefully it will explain the principles. So this has been a quick video on how to import footage into Final Cut Pro. I hope it has been useful. If you do have any questions on the process, please do feel free to drop me a line, a comment below. Thank you ever so much for watching, guys. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, please do remember to hit the like and the subscribe button. That would be much appreciated. This is a service announcement. And I look forward to catching you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause you brighten my day up like the sunrise. I've waited all.